So have you recently got yourself a brand new MacBook Pro just like this one right here and you want to get it to this screen here with all your documents and all your apps moved all over from one Mac to another or moving all your data from a Windows computer to another? Well, this video is for you. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your MacBook Pro with a step-by-step -step guide. Hi guys, it's Matt here. So that's right, today I'm gonna to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your brand new or even your pre-owned MacBook Pro. And this can also be used for a MacBook Air or any of the MacBook line. And all you need to make sure you've done is get your MacBook up to the latest version of macOS. And what we're going to do in this video is get from this page here to a setup MacBook Pro here with moving all your documents over from one MacBook to another, or if you're coming from a Windows laptop or PC in how to move your documents over to your brand new Mac that way. Well, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'd recommend is making sure you definitely have your power connected into it. So with your MagSafe connector or whatever like that. And as you can see here, you've got all the different languages coming along. So this basically means that you are ready to go. All you have to do is just press the arrow down the button. Doesn't matter if your language hasn't appeared because on the next page is where your language will appear. So you can choose from multiple different languages that you'd like to choose from. So I'm English and funny enough, I'm a funny person. Oh. We have the auto um, sort of volume person talking over Siri there. So I'm going to click actually English UK. Use British English as the main language. <laughs> Press the return key. I'm going to see if I can actually turn that off in a second because I don't actually need voiceover to help me. So I'm going to press UK English. And we'll just let this load a second. And then we get to choose which um, country we're from. So I'm going to scroll down to United Kingdom because that is where I live. So I'm going to select that. And click continue and like i said what you can do is you can select what you want um and which country you're from next we have accessibility and this helps you set up the settings if you want to do that right here so you can help with vision motor functions hearing and cognitive so obviously i don't need it i'm okay so i'm going to click not now but it's good to see that these options are here in the actual setup so next of all, we need to connect to a Wi-Fi. So I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi quickly. So I'm just going to select that and put my password in. You would just need to do the same. You just select your uh, one, put your username or password in or whatever you need to do. And then uh, once you put your password in for your Wi-Fi, you can connect. So I'm just going to put my one in right now. And once connected, you'll get this data and privacy coming up. Um, so you can just read that if you want to get a bit more information if you wanted to do that and it will tell you about all the different bits and pieces of how Apple handle your data. We're going to click continue next and next is the migration assistant. Now the great thing about this migration assistant is that you can actually transfer from a Mac time machine backup or a startup disk or from even a Windows PC. Now using it from a Mac or time machine backup or startup disk, uh, especially from the Mac and time machine, you can actually move over a lot of your apps as well, especially also in your time machine backup if you have decided to back up your apps. If you said no, then they won't come over, but it moves everything over like for like from one Mac to another. It's absolutely incredible. Now the startup disk, it won't do that. A startup disk will just basically migrate kind of your initial settings. And then from a Windows PC, it's very similar again. It will just move your data over and probably your name over. So you can select whatever option you want. So for me, I'm going to select from a Mac. I have another MacBook Pro 13 inch, what you saw at the beginning of this video. So I'm going to migrate that over to this brand new 14 inch MacBook Pro. So next of all, we have the Migration Assistant, and this allows us to transfer all our data from our old Mac to our new Mac. Or if you've got a Windows PC or laptop, you can transfer a lot of your data over to this one as well. So on this one here, if you've got from a Mac or Time Machine backup, you can actually transfer your apps over from a Mac to a Mac. You cannot transfer Windows apps to a Mac because they're just not compatible. So you can select whatever you want here. But the main thing that's the most important is your data. So your data will get transferred over for whatever option you pick. So for me, I'm going to transfer from a Mac because I've got a 13 inch MacBook Pro, what you saw at the beginning of this video. So I'm just going to select this. So as you can see here, it's looking to transfer information from another MacBook and it's looking to do this wirelessly. Now, one of the fastest ways to migrate your data from one MacBook Pro to another is to actually use a Thunderbolt cable like this or a USB-C to USB-C end 
Thunderbolt cable. And all you have to do is just basically plug it into one end of your older MacBook like this, and then connect it into your other end of your MacBook. And then basically you can transfer the data over super fast by doing it this method. And I definitely recommend doing this if you do have a Thunderbolt cable. And if you've got yourself an older MacBook, say from about say 2016 onwards and you've got one of these USB-C cable that actually has Thunderbolt technology inside it so you can just use that cable to transfer your data from one MacBook to another. So I've got the other MacBook Pro next to this MacBook Pro here. So I'm going to start up the Migration Assistant and you can open up Migration Assistant. It will be in your applications. It's all built into every Mac or you can just do a search for it and the Spotlight. Once you've got it open, you just open it up on your old Mac. You might have to put your password in possibly, uh, but once you're inside it, you just want to pick the selection to transfer your information to another Mac. So once I've selected this on my old MacBook Pro, you can see now straight away it's become discoverable on my new MacBook Pro. So I'm just going to select that MacBook Pro here and I'm going to click continue. Now, like I said, you don't have to do this via cable. You can do this over Wi-Fi. I'm doing it over the cable because it's far faster, but you can do it over your Wi-Fi. It just might take a little bit longer, but I'm in a rush. So I'm going to do it over Thunderbolt and I know it's really, really quick doing it this way. So I'm going to click continue next of all. And then it's also saying this is Apple beta software to move over. So I'm just going to click continue anyway. Uh, we've got the same kind of code here. It's being moved over. So that's absolutely fine. I'm happy with that. I'm going to continue that. And then what's going to start to happen now, it's going to connect to my other MacBook Pro. And on my other MacBook Pro, it is now grabbing all my data ready to send this over. So now it's going to calculate everything what needs to be transferred over and how much it's going to take in my storage. So as you can see here, it's 236 gigabytes. I'm going to have that much space left over. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click continue. And uh, basically I can set my password for my user. So I'm just going to do that quickly. And then after this, we can just click continue, uh, agree to the terms and conditions, agree to them again, and then if it gets there eventually, it should start migrating the data over from one MacBook to the other. So just gonna leave this run for a little bit. And there we have it. It's starting to transfer my documents, first of all, from the old MacBook Pro to this one, and I'm gonna let this run. So I'm gonna stop the video and just let everything transfer over. So the migration is still completing and it might just do a quick reboot while it's doing that migration. And then once that reboot is completed, you'll get back to the main screen here, as you can see. And it just take a second to load and it's just transferring the last bit of the data over. And then once it's completed, it will say migration completed. So what we can do is click done. We can disconnect the old MacBook if we wanted to do that. And here we are. All my data has been moved over. So I'm just going to put my password in. And with my password now in, I'm just going to go into my brand new MacBook Pro for the first time. Now, the first time this works, it might take a second or two to do this because it might take a little bit longer um, to get everything onto it. As you can see here, like, there's a window coming up very, very shortly in a second. And this wouldn't normally happen the first time you actually log into your MacBook Pro every time you turn it on. So let's just let this run. So it's just asking me to put my password in for my iCloud. So I'm just going to do that. And it's just setting up my iCloud account. It would do the same for you guys. The next question is for FireVault disk encryption. And I definitely recommend this to have this. So this will encrypt all your data on your hard drive. And you can unlock it with your iCloud if you wanted to do that. So I'm going to click, say yes, I'm happy with that. And I'm going to click continue. Also, we can set up our Touch ID. So I'm just going to quickly do that. It's in the top um, right corner. Oh, I don't want to do it later. I want to set it up, sorry. So I'm going to put my fingerprint on. Wow, it's really responsive on this MacBook Pro 14 inch I've got here. So I'm just going to do that, put my finger on. It's just going to capture my finger in a few more different places. You could do exactly the same. I'm going to click continue. And there we go. Everything is setting itself up now. So we've got some programs that are already trying to set themselves up. I'm just going to click later on that. I've got my all my apps and everything have been moved over really well over to this MacBook Pro. Everything is exactly the same thing here, exactly the same layout as my old MacBook Pro. In fact, here, if we just show you here, if I go about this Mac, you can see here, this is a MacBook Pro 14 inch 
with an Apple M1 Pro inside it and all my data is moved over. If I go to my documents here, all my documents have been moved over successfully. So I'm really, really happy with this. And there we have it guys, we've successfully migrated an old Mac to a newer Mac and it works absolutely perfectly. And that is how easy it is to set up a brand new MacBook Pro, MacBook Air or any MacBook out there from about 2015 onwards for anyone that you're going to buy brand new or pre-owned. Well guys, it's also time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button and also at the same time as well, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please also make sure you hit the subscribe button followed by that notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you really soon. Bye bye now.